in this system of linear inequalities, we have three inequalities listed. Now, some of these guys could have been nonlinear, but I just chose all of them to be linear for this example. Now, what we need to find out is the intersection for not just these two guys, but for all three of them together. So let's take these guys a piece at a time and see what happens. For this first one right here, we see that we need to be dashed and shading below. So we have a y-intercept of 0, 2, a slope of 1. So I have all of these nice key points right here. Draw my dashed line going through these points. And just make my notes that I need to be shading below. So just those little arrows below, that's all we really need. So here's the first inequality. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? Now what about this next guy right here? This one is going to be a solid line shading below as well. He's going to start at 0, 5, and he has a slope of negative 2. So here are his points, and then here's my line. So to graph these guys quickly and easily, we have to be very good at graphing using the slope and the y-intercept. If we are, then graphing these guys really not that difficult. And so here I need to be shading below Just like that. Now if all we have were these two guys right here, their intersection would be this section right here in the bottom. But there's another little item that we have here. This is x is less than or equal to positive 4. Now for this guy we see that we are a solid line. Since this is x we know this is going to be a vertical line. So He's not shading above or below, but he's going to be shading to the left. So it's solid line at 4. Just like this. Now we need to be shading to the left, so I'm just going to put my little markers here. I'm going to be shading over here to the left. Now this is where a lot of students can get into trouble if they're not paying attention. A lot of students would like to say, oh, let's just shade in this little triangle. Oh, he's so cute. But that's not what it's saying. We have to find out the common area that we're shading. If I shade in this triangle, it would satisfy the red inequality and the blue one, but not the green one. The green one is shading below. So we need to be below the blue line, below the green line, and to the right, or excuse me, to the left of the red line. And that ends up being this section of the graph right here. We will include this point right here because where these green and red lines intersect, they're both solid, so this point is a solution. However, where the blue dashed line and the green solid line intersect will have to be open. And there's our solution set.